Well, Saints Wigan's always the biggest game of the year for us. And he throws three or four foul punches. He's got to stop it. If we was at the bottom and went to St Helens, I would expect to win because uh, all the lads know what it means to me. Do you ever get that fear that you can't shift the tide that sticks around like summer in your teeth? Actually, whatever level St. Helens and Wigan play each other at, whether it's under-19s, under-21s, whether it's amateur teams against each other, whether it's football teams, there's just a huge rivalry between the two towns. Sweet, how many secrets can you keep? This is my eighth season over here now and um, I've been involved in a lot of them. And could potentially be my last one, so I'm going to enjoy it. Until I fall asleep, spilling drinks on my settee. Do I want to know if this feeling flows both ways? Sort of hoping that you'd stay. got to make it of a fantastic game, really looking forward to it and I think the league positions of both clubs mean nothing and there's that much pride at stake and both sets of fans want to win it badly and St Helens are a club of a lot of respect for and really good people there and, and there's no doubt about it, we need to be at our best to get anything out of it. Yeah look I think we're definitely more than capable you know, um, you know in the past month we've had three wins and a loss you know, and the game at home that we played the loss was in the wet and we certainly didn't adapt to those conditions very well, but our other three games we've played some quite attractive football, so it'd be nice to uh, come out here, as I said, and put in a good home performance. Everyone knows how important it is, these big games, and, and what it takes to win them, and, and, and what it means to our fans, and, and um, you know, to come up with it, a, a win against it you know, in, the, in the derby game, so um, I suppose we'll keep things as low-key as possible <laughs> uh, this week, but I'm sure by the time the weekend hits that uh, Wayne will have everyone um, you know, focused and ready to go. Well, we hope so. I think uh, you know, our season's been uh, probably described in a word is probably inconsistent. Uh, I think we've shown on occasions, like winning at Warrington and winning at Leeds, that we are a capable team and, and we can compete with the best sides in the competition. But you know, far too often we've let ourselves down. Uh, you know, albeit through poor performance, and other times there's been a combination of injuries and and you know things that have affected our our development. But. Uh, you know, we have a great opportunity next Monday to come here against Wigan, put in a great performance. You know, really lift the spirits within the town and, and finish the season strongly. Yeah, exactly. Um, loads and loads of history that goes into these two two teams, two great teams. And um, yeah, you, like you said, we've got a lot of um, ex players, you know, coaching staff, and um, you know, who, who have been involved in those great battles. So um, you know, the boys don't have to look too far to get some inspiration. That's for sure. And um, like I said, at the end of the day, it's a game of rugby league, and we've got to go out and then perform. Yeah, I think they're a great side. They're really consistent. Uh, even with injuries, they've been, you know, very consistent uh, with with a number of key players out. So yeah, we're we're well aware of their strengths. I think one one of their biggest assets is the unity and uh, the fact that they've got an, you know a number of players who slot into any position and doesn't really affect their team too much. And and I think that breeds consistency in itself. And you know, I think Sean Wayne's done done a good job. And, you know, we'll look forward to getting stuck into them and, and, and that's the, the short and the long of it. You know, we, we, we just want to bring some real physicality to the game, you know, enjoy the, the emotional energy that the game brings and, and, and just enjoy the game. You know, this is the game as a player, you, you know, it's a big cliche that you want to be involved in, but, you know, Saints Wigan Derby is, is a massive game and, and it's a privilege every time as a player you get the opportunity to play in those games. This is the time of year you want to be playing, you know. You do all that hard work then for, for this, this time of year, you know. It's really coming towards the business end now and um, you want to be involved in these big games and, um, you know, we're, we're still involved in the Challenge Cup and we've got a, we've got a Wigan Saints derby this week and, and then we've got a, we've got a pretty good run-in um, of tough games coming into the semi-final. So we're, it's a great position to be in and, um, you know, we're going to be challenged each week against our opposition. It, it, it's just two really good teams two good youth systems, two quality clubs having a good hit out and it's, uh, it, it's the ones the fans should turn up and watch.